Hey there viewers, it's Charlie R. Mac again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Fast Track. Now, back in G1, Fast Track was an accessory for Scorponok, but in Earthrise, Fast Track is a standalone figure. But if you do have a Fry Scorpion Arc, then this guy goes al along great with him. Although with my crappy budget, I currently don't have Scorpion Arc. Look, you can't expect me to get every figure in the world right now, okay? But, well, before I have a tangent on why I can't get every figure in the world right now, let's just ha have a look at Fast Track by himself. Well, I always forgot the, the packaging, and with every War for Cybertron trilogy figure, I always look at the box, so let's just do that. Well, like every uh, Earthrise box, it's pretty much the same, although with this one we got some damage here, that was not by me, that's how, that's how it arrived. Here we can see that his name is Decepticon Fast Track, so he's using the Decepticon prefix. I'm guessing trademark reasons. Here we can see on the sides, he's actually, well, he's he's in his vehicle mode this time, which is odd, because with every other um, box that I looked at for this um, series, whether it's Siege, Earthrise, or Kingdom, they've always been. They've always been in their robot mode. I mean, sure, with the Kingdom boxes, they're in, they're uh, pictured in both modes, but in the Siege and Earthrise boxes, they're always packaged in their well, they're not packaged. They're always pictured in their robot mode. So th this is a first for me. And there are some other figures that have their pictures in uh, vehicle mode. So Fast Track's not the only one. So yeah, so we see he's a deluxe class. If we go to the back, we can see him in both modes. We can see he actually can form a huge spear for Scorpionok. See he comes apart, so he is a weaponizer. <clears throat> and my first just stopped working. We got the side here with all the characters like we've seen uh, many times before got the top with I'm pretty sure that's Galvatron yeah yeah that's Galvatron so that's pretty cool foreshadowing for kingdom there and that's it for the box and well let's have a look at the figure and as we can see, this guy is a two turret wheel tank, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a made up vehicle mode, that's for sure. I mean, it's 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 definitely unlike uh, Six Gun because Six Gun is a VTOL aircraft, so you can easily tell what he turned into, but this guy, not so much. So, we just have a 360 of him. Well, we can definitely see his ro uh, robot mode chest is hanging out the back here. We've got the front here with the two turrets, which of course, oh, well, they're blast effect compatible. Oh, that's his elbow going, because these are his arms. So yeah, he can shoot. The underneath, which, well, there's pretty much no kibble there, which is good. Well, you can see that the wheels are colored orange, so that's um, something. 
Yeah, I, I don't really have anything to say about this vehicle mode. I mean, it's definitely a unique vehicle mode. It's not like the... It's not like a run amongst vehicle mode because there was a, an actual real life vehicle. But this is definitely made up. Well, there is uh, one thing about this vehicle mode. I, I'm, I'm going to have to split it apart for, to, to get this out. If I get this out and just try and put this back together. Pardon me, I had to do this off camera. I'll have to pause the video to do this, sorry. Okay, after a bit of struggling, I've managed to put it back together. But, well, I'm actually able to flip out this ramp here. And seeing how, I've got this ramp here. And if you remember my review on hoists, he also had a ramp with a similar connection. Yes, we can actually interlock them. I mean, I don't know why you would do this. It's more for connecting him for, to the modulator bases. But, well, this is an option, so I guess you, you could have hoist towing fast track. Maybe it's an Autobot base for questioning. I don't know. But yeah, you can do this if you want to. Which is cool because... Well, this is pretty much my... Well, this is... I'm pretty sure this, this is actually my first um, instance of um, the airlock system that I get to experience. So that's cool. So if I just get hoist off camera, now I'll just rip him in half, flip this back, and try and put fast track back together. Okay, there we go. That was much easier the second time. Well, and that's pretty much all I have to say about the vehicle mode. I mean, the uh, little uh, ramp thing is pretty fun. But other than that, I just think the vehicle mode is cool looking, but I wish I could describe it better. Well, let's just get on to the transformation. Now, with the uh, G1 Scorpion off, what you would do is just open him up. But with this guy, his transformation is actually much more complex. So, what you're going to do is... Uh, this is op optional, but you, uh, you can remove this blade. Uh, rip this guy in half again. Actually pull this bit off. We're going to transform the top half first. So bring the arms down. Uh, rotate at the elbows. Then rotate the head around. So but the torso transforms. Now for the legs. Just bring the feet up. Just try and unplug it from here. I find doing this is the easiest uh, way to do it. Oh, oh, there we go. Then bring these sections down. Then towel this together. Uh, bring your phone up so you can see a bit better. Then tap this in as a backpack. And he have fast track in robot mode. 
And well, as a weaponizer, that is definitely a... Well, it's a complicated but cruel transformation. And if you want him to be accurate to his G1 toy, well, you can uh, leave the, the guns just... Well, you can leave the guns just in its hands, but you can remove them if you want to. So if you want to, you can actually just have them as shoulder cannons and he can hold the sword. Me personally, I don't really like doing that. I just prefer to leave the gun straight on his hands. Sure, it makes it look it makes it look like he's got guns for hands, but that's how the G1 toy looked. And for the blade, I just leave it on here for, for storage. And well, here we have fast track in his robot mode. So yeah, you can definitely tell that he doesn't transform by just folding in half this time. And boy, if I actually did have Earthrise uh, Scorpion, he would look amazing next to him. Okay, now I'll, I'll look at the head. Well, you can see he's got both an eye visor and a, a face covering. Like, not the ones that humans wear, but like a face plate, the ones that Transformers usually wear. I guess they like to look cool. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, a uh, face plate. So, I don't want to say he looks generic, but, well, he technically, he technically is generic because, you know, he wasn't even in the G1 series, even when Scorponok appeared, so... But, yeah. yeah. Okay, um... Let's just uh, have a look at the articulation. Well, the head can, uh, of course, go 360. The arms can also go 360, although keep in mind they can come off with the weaponized gimmick. For T posing, that's as far as he as he can go. But you can fake him T posing if you unplug the arms and plug them in like this. So you can still fake him T posing. So there is an option. arms well of course he's got an elbow which swivels because of the transformation he's got a uh, waist joint he's got a, a really good uh, split plus a really good ankle uh, pivot so he, he could do this which is amazing The legs can go forward. Can't really go back that far because it this is no getting in the way. Really good knee bend. This can swivel and the feet can move. So this guy is quite poseable. So yeah. Now just before I get to the a weaponizer gimmick. Here he is with the other weaponizer in my collection. Six gun from Siege. And why not? Here he is with Kingdom Paleo tracks. Because this guy, despite well, despite this guy being a fossilizer and not a weaponizer, 
he still has the same uh, k kind of gimmick where he splits apart and forms a weaponry. So these are the well split. Well, I don't know what to call the collective term for these guys, but uh, these are the guys in my collection who can split apart and form a weaponry for other guys in my collection so far. And I guess if, if you wanted to, you can uh, share the, the uh, limbs. Yeah, just before I get to the gimmick, let's do that. Just for a bit of fun. So, he have that. Okay, it's, not, it's not really going in that well, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So, here we have these cursed creations I just made right now. If you want to come up with... If you want to come up uh, with names for these guys, then go ahead, but let's just go ahead and, well, that's all of me, but let's just go ahead and come up with the actual combinations for the, uh, for this guy, the official ones. Yeah, so to start, just... Take fast track to pieces. And I think the starts. Uh, let's do the uh, cannon modes. Well, the back cannon mode. So, the start. Uh, leave the torso section on the waist section. The uh, legs. Well, you want to have it so it's like this, so this is upside down. And then... Uh, plug the legs in like this. Remove the sword. Do that by accident because you're recording and transformers always screw you up while you're recording. Try and plug the arms in while the joints fight you. Okay, there we go. We plug the arms in like so. Try and bring that out. So we've got this going on. And for this, we're going to use. Uh, run amok. So we're going to try and plug this into his back. Just, now this is going to be easier said than done because the little peg on fast track and move quite loosely. So you have to be quite careful on how you do it. Because seriously, it, it can be. I, it can actually be quite annoying to do. Okay, there we go. I've managed it. So now he's got these huge shoulder cannons, which aren't even on camera because they're so huge. Next, take this, just split it open like so, and plug the sword in. And 
and just plug that in, and plug that into the arm. So now we have this going on. So yeah, now we have this huge arm mounted blade and these two huge shoulder cannons. And you can see it, it actually makes use of the ankle pivot. So that's definitely cool. And I guess if you um, if you move the, the arms around, then you can also make use of the elbow joint. Oh, and one weird thing is, Fast Track actually has to look at the rear end of the guy he's combining with, so that's that's definitely weird. But now, if we get to the spear mode, well, if we just Detach all this. Now we're just going to try our best to remove th this section. This could be a pain in the ass at times. Okay, there we go. Because sometimes it, it comes off with no, sometimes it comes off with, with no problem, and sometimes it's just fused in there. We just remove that bit. We don't need it. Touch on the legs, like so. Attach on this section. And then just attach on the arms. And here we have this huge spear. Now this isn't intended for figures like uh, Runner Mark, this is more intended for Scorpionok. So, that's why I'm not going to give it to a uh, runner mark. But this is pretty cool. And I suppose if you wanted to... Well, if I... If you if if you found something to put on the sides here to turn it into claws, you could have a makeshift scorpion fan mode so you can follow in Scorpionox's footsteps. But speaking of fan modes, I have one of my own. So transform them into the spear mode, but instead of the arms going underneath, have it like this, so the wheels are underneath. Bend the arms like this and put them on the sides. And this is what I like to call crappy jet mode. Well, I also take this section, flip the peg out, and attach this entire torso section onto here. Just so it looks more complete, at least to me. I know you're sitting there thinking, "Oh, what the hell is this? That does not look good." And yeah, you have every right to think that. I mean, this is a fan mode that I came up with in like a couple of seconds. I mean, there's some fan modes for some figures that look amazing, but this is not one of them. I just thought that this. I just thought that this resembled a jet cockpit, and my mind just thought, oh, this could be, like, wings or, like, sh little shooters for a jet. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, it's just my imagination, okay? <laughs> but... It is just a fan mode, so... If we just get onto the 
actual robot mode again. One of that. Before I fully get him into his robot mode, one thing I forgot to mention. You see these, you see these little pegs here? They're actually intended for a Titan Master to go on. Yeah, this is so Scorpionok's Titan Master can stand here. So they would definitely think of Scorpionok while making this guy. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention during the build for mode segment. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about Fast Track. I mean, complaints. Well, this one is just, just a nitpick, but one time when I was transforming him, he did injure my thumb. I don't know if you, if you can see that, but I do have a slight scar that's healing. Yeah, I, I, one time I was transforming him, he pinched my... Um, uh, Pinched a bit of skin that was on my thumb and just ripped a bit of skin off, so that hurt. But that was more my fault, and that and that is just more of a nitpick. Actual complaints. Well, I think it's weird that how in the in the shoulder cannon mode he has to look at the rear end of wh whoever he's combined with. I mean, seriously, that's weird. Another complaint is the peg section that he, he uh, uses to combine of uh, the back. Just keep in mind, I was trying to uh, combine it with a, a runner mark here, trying to peg that into this uh, hole here, and it, it just kept moving everywhere. So I, I find that to be a bit too loose. So that's also a complaint. But this is just complaints with the uh, uh, combat system uh, modes. Complaints with the robot vehicle modes. Well, uh, just a nitpick with the vehicle mode. I just can't tell uh, what it is. If it's like a, 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 a no traded double turreted tank. Or, um, well, I just, I don't know. But well, that's it for my nitpicks. So do I actually recommend this figure? Well, yeah. With or without Scorpionok, this guy is amazing. I mean, come on, he, he looks just, he looks really cool. I mean, one thing I forgot to mention is the the combat the uh, the blast effect ports here. I mean, one here. And of course the laser feet, which I'll demonstrate as I say why I recommend this figure. I forgot to mention these earlier. But yeah, I'm recommending this figure because he looks really cool. Even if you don't know who Fast Track is. I mean, even if these are permanently attached, the guns for hands do look cool. I mean, some people will complain about that if they were permanently attached, but not me. But the fact that they're not permanently attached and they can actually go on the shoulders, it, it's it's a really nice option. Plus the fact that we have an actual weaponizer in air fries, while the others are modulators. Well, they're called modulators and they're not called weaponizers, I'm meaning. I mean, it, if you want to classify the modulators as weaponizers, then go ahead. But to have an officially... Uh, named uh, weaponizer, well, caught in air fries, is just amazing. 
It's not bad. At, I mean, like, someone who's officially classed as a, a weaponizer, not a modulator. I know I'm being confusing, but I just... I don't know a better way to... Well, I don't know a better way to, like, classify it as, but... Yeah, let's just move on. Another cool thing is... This guy's just really articulated. I mean, seriously, he's just really posable. So, yeah, that's another reason why, why I like this guy. So, yeah. Even if you don't have Earthrise Scorpionock, I definitely recommend this guy. He looks amazing. Plus, this guy oh, it was also recolored in Select, says... Probably gonna mess his name up. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was called uh, Black Riverici. And he was in gold, so... He, look, he looks even cooler. But whether it's that figure or this guy, I definitely recommend this figure. Well, this has been my review on Earthrise Fast Track. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.